experience on the show? It was amazing! I loved being on The Amazing Race um, because I actually got a chance to travel all over the world for free, <laughs> number one, that's the most important part. Um, but I got a chance to see things that I never really imagined I would be able to see. Um, it was a dream come true to be cast on the show. And um, interestingly enough, I made it all the way to the finals, so it was a great experience. Being Miss America definitely prepped me for being on the show, but what you cannot prepare for is having one backpack to rely on for 27 days around the world. I mean, all the things that you should need, that you feel like you need, um, get very, very condensed, and you become, you, you become reliant on yourself, and all you have is your instincts and your ability to use your intuition to move you through the, the game. So it was very interesting, but being Miss America certainly helped. The travels of Miss America helped a lot. Was this anything like your audition? My audition process was very organic. Um, my partner and I decided that we wanted to be on the show, and we were big fans. We watched every single week. Um, we would sit and obsess over the YouTube videos, and so we decided to just submit our own video, and that's exactly what we did. Um, we went to our church, and we had the video guy at our church to do a two-minute interview video, and it was just the two of us sitting there, um, and we submitted it online. They called us two weeks later, and we started the audition process formally, so very, very different from submitting a one-minute um, package and just kind of hoping for it. Do you yourself is the most important part of the audition process because they need to see who you are authentically in order to put you in a particular category. But I would say that there are certain things that you can't control uh, once you are cast on the show because it's Hollywood. It's a show. It's a production. They have to make it into something exciting for viewers to watch. And so there is some shifting of your true self and your character because even though it's a reality show, you do take on a particular character throughout the evolution of the game. So um, you just have to be yourself and, and hope for the best editing possible. <laughs> The Amazing Race taught me a lot about myself. I did a lot of personal growth, and interestingly, I was on the show with my then husband. We have since gone in different directions, and I learned quite a bit about um, my boundaries. I learned a lot about my personal um, desires and, and what, I, what kind of woman I wanted to be even. Um, it taught me a lot, and sometimes I feel like it was kind of unnecessary to go through that in order to learn what I did, but it's also helped me to teach other people um, how to celebrate life and discover balance in your life based on this game that I was on that um, helped me to really put reality into perspective. For any future contestants on the show, my biggest piece of advice is don't go on with your spouse. You will get divorced. Um, <laughs> It's up to you. If you if you don't like them very much, go on the show. It will help the, the process. <laughs> but but um, you know, definitely go on with like a sibling or a parent um, or a friend that you could like just break away from for a couple months, and then you guys get back together. But if it's with your a significant other, it's over. <laughs> There is no better place for the auditions to be than Fun Spot. I think it's absolutely perfect. It's going to be very fun filled, uh, really exciting, and the atmosphere lends to all of the excitement that you get from being on The Amazing Race. I should know, I was a finalist, made it all the way to the end, didn't win the million dollars, but that's probably better because it helped me to be able to divorce my husband sooner. Um, because if we had won the million dollars, literally I would have been stuck with him. <laughs> for a little bit longer. Um, so I'm very excited that it's coming to Orlando. Um, I may even be there. I may come out and just come and say hello and sprinkle a little fairy dust on the people just to give them a little extra encouragement. Secrets, but on The Amazing Race, you do have a cameraman that is assigned to you per leg, right? And so each competition that you're going through, Sometimes you get the encouragement and then sometimes you have cameramen that are not so nice and that's all a part of the game because they have to keep the mojo going like whatever is going on with you if you're in first place the cameraman can either egg you on because they're excited too they're going on this journey with you they're basically competing with you 
or they could be a little bit antagonistic and try to get under your skin. So for example, I had one uh, cameraman who, I was on there with my husband, you know, and it was like, I was such a wife at the time. I was, I was really into like protecting his interests and this cameraman would just dig at him and he was like really trying to like ruin his manhood sometimes and it was almost in an effort to break him I think. And one time I looked at that cameraman and I said that's enough, I'm not having any more out of you. And he settled down. Sometimes you got to take the lead in your, your partnership and your team and you have to protect your partner, right? And so that's a big part of being on The Amazing Race is that you have to know your partner really well and you have to be able to protect their interests from the powers that be because all you have in the whole world is the two of you while you're out there. Um, you don't know anyone in these countries. You can't call a friend who might live in Bulgaria. <laughs> hey, I'm coming to Bulgaria today. Um, are you available? That's not even an option. And generally what will happen is they'll ask you, you know, all the countries you've been to, all the languages that you speak, and they kind of formulate a map based on all of the contestants and their experiences. So, you know, I speak Spanish, but it didn't matter because we went to Asia and Europe. So, <laughs> so sometimes it's a completely moot point um, when they have you out there and you're just going around and you're thinking, maybe I'll see someone I know, but you, you're in Vietnam. If you don't know anyone in Vietnam, <laughs> you're out of gas. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Is that pretty good? Thank you so much.